I'm Pinky Lilani and the two things I'm most passionate about are food and women's empowerment. And I try to bring them together at every opportunity by taking my walk to every place that I'm invited. And now I'm going to show you some great Indian cuisine. I'm going to show you how to make chicken tandoori. It's all very simple. You just need um, great fresh ingredients. So there we have them. We have chicken. I'm going to use chicken. I'm going to use some tandoori masala, some fresh ginger, some fresh garlic, a little bit of salt, some yogurt, and this wonderful piece of coal. If you're wondering what this is about, wait on and see what we do and a bit of oil. So those are all the ingredients and what we're going to do is actually mix two tablespoons of yogurt into the chicken and I'm going to add a little bit of tandoori masala which you can get from any shop really. Um, two spoons of fresh ginger, two spoons of fresh garlic, teaspoons, a little bit of salt, a pinch of salt and then I'm going to actually mix it all together and then we're going to just transfer it to this dish. We're going to use a wonderful technique which maybe some of you would have heard of and it's the smoking technique and it's really for all those of us who don't have barbecues indoors but want to replicate the really aroma and the taste of a tandoor uh, which most people would have in India not in their homes but really out in restaurants in roadside cafes so here we have the piece of coal which I've put on a cooker now for those of you who are worried and don't have a gas cooker you can actually put it on electric hob and really let it get very very hot that is the real secret to using coal and using the smoking technique which in India we call the dhua technique which is the technique of smoking it's a very old um, Indian tradition that was done like in the times of the Maharajas and very well kept secret but I think now it's all in the open because I've done it enough times in front of so many people. So I take my piece of coal and I actually, what's very important is to have a dish with a tightly fitting lid at hand. I put the piece of coal in there, drop a few drops of oil in and if you see it starts smoking and that smoke gets trapped in and gives a wonderful smoky flavor to the chicken inside. Um, which you let, let it be there for 10-15 minutes and then remove the coal and grill the chicken. You can see that wonderful, wonderful smoke in there swirling around and I can smell that lovely barbecue flavor which the chicken is going to be infused with. So we've got our chicken that's been in there for 10 to 15 minutes with the piece of coal that's given it all that wonderful char grill, smoky flavor and a great new piece that you can actually use very easily in your home which gives a very professional touch to it is this grill, an electric grill and once you take your pieces of chicken and put it on there you can just grill it in a few minutes and it's ready to eat and ready to go. Now you can also, if you don't have one of these, put it into the oven and make sure that it's grilled nice and brown or you can actually use your barbecue outside but you've already got a nice smoked flavor and you can add some more to it then. So there we have our chicken grilling very nicely on this hot grill but you have to make sure, can you see that wonderful way it's getting the little stripes of brown char grill flavor there and, and the speckled look which looks amazing and it's very very important that you have a really hot grill because that's the only way you're going to get that lovely look. So we have our wonderful um, fragrant chicken tikkas, tandoori chicken uh, ready to eat and putting them into the plate there and you can have it with this wonderful green chutney which is made with coriander, garlic and green chilies and this is chicken tikkas or chicken tandoori which um, is a great favorite all around the world um, served with our green chutney which gives it that extra little bite.